Hello, agents. Welcome to this webinar. We have here our amazing BDM for Carnival, Mr. Seth. Hi, Seth. How are you? Hi, Seth. Did, can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. So I'm um, no, we're we are live. Um, you guys, we have our BDM for Carnival, Mr. Seth. He is amazing. It's such a new, we're so glad to have you here. <laughs> the ages are going to love you. What's the latest on Carnival? We are here to learn it all. Perfect. So uh, hi, everybody. Nice to virtually meet you. Look forward to being able to meet you in person. And as Tyra said, I'm Seth, your business development director for Carnival. I've been with Carnival almost 16 years, if you can believe that. And I live here in the Tampa Bay area, actually in Clearwater, and I've been in this area for about 12 years. So I'm really happy to be working with all of our travel advisors like you, and hopefully I can share some good information about Carnival with you and how to market Carnival. And um, of course, if you have any questions, you can always email me or reach out to Tyra how to get in touch with me, and I'm happy to help you grow your business. So I do have a little presentation for you today, so I'm going to share my screen, and I'm just going to make sure I share my sound, and I can't do the optimize for video. Let's see if I can do that here, but okay, perfect. So hopefully this, and you should be able to see my screen. Do you see it? Yes, I can see it now. Yep. Okay, great. So let me just open up my other screen here. All right. So it's just our little welcome to fun screen. So there's never been a better time to choose fun and carnival than now. So we have all of our ships back in service. I'm actually going to turn off my camera, sorry, so I can save uh, bandwidth. All right, so there's never been a better time than now. We have all of our ships back in service. There's 23 of them. That's 100% of our fleet. And I'm going to show you a map in a little bit that's going to show how easy it is. But we have 10 year-round home ports, four seasonal home ports. And we're still finding that there's a Carnival ship within about a five to six hour drive for most North Americans. So if you or your clients live out in the center of the country or maybe up in the Midwest, we're finding that it's still pretty easy to get to any of our ships. We're seeing that we've received some really great guest satisfaction since we started reselling back in July. We have most of our reservations open through 2024. You'll see a lot that are open through April of 2024. And then some of the other reasons, of course, we have some of the best crew and service out there. Uh, the onboard experience has never been better with some of the partnerships we have, some of the dining and uh, beverage experiences. And then, of course, right now, we're also offering some really great travel advisor rates to get you on board to experience our product as well. And you'll see that on GoCCL.com. So, we're also celebrating our 50th birthday this year. And let's see, it. there you go. Um, so we're really excited about this milestone and this big achievement. Carnival's been happily serving millions of guests since 1972. And we're going to be celebrating our birthday all year long as much as we can. So there's a lot of different things. We've already had some Carnival celebrations in March. Uh, we've had some booking contests. We've had some uh, merchandise. We've had some parties around this country. Um, but I'm going to show you a quick video and hopefully you'll be able to hear it and see it. Um, basically telling you who we are as a brand. It's our 50th birthday. Can you believe it? And we're so happy to be celebrating with you. Because it's been 50 years of the funnest moments anyone could ever wish for. 50 years of memories that will surely last a lifetime. 50 years of water slides and sea breezes. 50 years of excursions, adventures, and new experiences. 50 years, what an amazing sight to see. 50 years of fun. Thank you to everyone who's joined us over the years. Whether you're a seasoned cruise pro who's collected all the ship pens, or you've just sailed for the first time this year, it all started with one dream, to make cruising a vacation that was accessible to all. From the moment our first ship set sail, it wasn't guest and crew, it was just one big fun Carnival family. As our fleet grew, the Carnival family grew. Year after year, ship after ship. Yes, we've celebrated milestones before, but now we're celebrating the biggest one to date, our 50th birthday. And we're so grateful to be celebrating this milestone with you. The people who bring the fun, the smiles, the laughs, the joy. That special spirit that makes Carnival unlike any other cruise line or vacation anywhere. Something unmistakably unique happens when you're on a Carnival cruise. 
you become the most fun version of yourself. Yes, it's going to be a birthday for the ages. And you, and you, and you, and all of you are the guests of honor. See you on board. Carnival. Choose fun. So hopefully that gives you kind of an overview and an idea of who Carnival is as a brand. We're known as the Fun Ships, and that means we appeal to a wide audience. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you are from, um, what your interests are. As long as you like to have fun and have a good time, you'll see that there's so many different kinds of people on Carnival coming together and having the fun, funnest times of their lives. So here's a nice picture of our little Carnival Paradise sailing out of Tampa uh, in honor of our 50th birthday. So that's coming out of the port there. And... We have a really great relationship with Port Tampa Bay, and they hired that water cannon and took a really cool video of the ship uh, sailing out to sea. So it's just something really cool to see there. And then this picture, this is me with my boss, and we were able to present the city of Tampa. There's the mayor in the middle and some of the port officials with a birthday cake. And then in exchange, they presented us with a plaque. And it was just a really great day uh, to celebrate our birthday and our longstanding partnership being in Tampa for over 25 years. Now, since we restarted in July, we've already had 2 million, wait, actually, let's change that. It's been now 3 million guests sailed, so 400 days since we restarted, a little bit over that. And you can see from this infographic, some of our top embarkation ports have been Miami, Port Canaveral, Galveston, Long Beach, and New Orleans. Some of the top ports of calls visited have been Nassau, Half Moon Key, Amber Cove, Cozumel, Mahogany Bay, and then just some other great statistics there on some of the milestones we've reached since our restart. And as you can see, it continues to improve. Um, so with the restart, I want to make sure that you're always checking our website, either on gocl.com or carnival.com, and looking for that link at the top that was just highlighted for our health and protocol section. We call that our Have Fun, Be Safe Health Protocols break page. This is where you find all the information related to returning to sailing as it pertains to COVID-19 and our protocols, uh, which continue to evolve. And if you've been paying attention to the news, we had some really big announcements on Friday, which I'll talk about in a second. But when you click on that link, there's going to be three different tabs where you can read all about the guest protocol. So vaccination requirements, testing, all of that, frequently asked questions, as well as our refund and cancellation policy. Now, when you actually visit this page, we just updated it on Friday. So you're going to see a lot of things always changing, but there's where you see the three tabs. So you have um, this COVID-19 guest protocols tab, the frequently asked questions, and the refund and cancellation policy. So I just want to make sure you know that you have to click on each of these and that will open up additional information. Well, we're really excited because on Friday, we announced that we're now welcoming all guests back to cruising, whether they're vaccinated or not. So be sure to read this paragraph here when you go to our Have Fun, Be Safe page. But we also shared a nice little infographic over the weekend uh, that talks about some of the key points with this announcement. So if you are vaccinated, we still need to provide proof of vaccination. And there are certain destinations that are still going to require testing. But for the most part, we've dropped the testing requirement for our vaccinated cruisers. Unvaccinated guests are welcome to sail, no longer required to apply for an exemption, except for certain cruises like Australia or 16 days or longer. Um, so you're going to see all that information here. But really excited that we're finally opening back up and things are finally starting to seem like normal, like they were pre-pandemic. So big times, should see a lot of bookings coming through. And hopefully that will help you and your clients get thunderstruck. Uh, usually I ask for a show of hands how many people have been thunderstruck. If you don't know what this is, that's okay because I didn't either. It's a new word, but the feeling you've been thunderstruck, Tyra. Woo. Yeah, so, we just uh, came off of a carnival cruise literally August the 4th. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you for sailing and having a good time. We and love so carnival. Thank you. And this is a new word for us, but it's that undeniable, unmistakable feeling you get when you choose fun on Carnival. So I'm going to show you a quick video if you don't know what being thunderstruck means. Uh, it's a 30 second video that I found on YouTube. What's thunderstruck on Carnival? What's thunderstruck? <laughs> thunderstruck is. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get thunderstruck? I am. You got thunderstruck. Thunderstruck! So that's what it means to be 
Thunderstruck and there's a whole ad campaign that we're doing and there's a toolkit where you can download from our brand center for uh, marketing logos and graphics to use in your own uh, advertising and marketing needs. Um, but it's just really great. And at Carnival, we truly believe that fun is a choice and we invite you to help your clients choose fun. That's why you see that slogan everywhere. Um, but as you can see from this picture, fun means different things for different people. So one person's fun might be going down the water slide and others might be having a nice dinner in the steakhouse, um, jumping in the pool, you know, doing the horseback riding in ports. But one of the things that we really find is true amongst everyone is that 99% of people who choose fun regret it 0% of the time. So hopefully you will be finding that out to be true as well um, and helping people choose fun. So we're officially back to fun. As I mentioned, I can't stop saying the word fun. Like that's we, we do. We want you to know fun, fun, fun means carnival. So we're officially back to fun. And then these are those 23 ships that I mentioned that are back in service, but we're not stopping there. We actually have five more ships on order uh, that are being built to be delivered into our family. So it's really exciting that even throughout pandemics and times like this, we were able to still commit on our promise to bringing new ships, new itineraries. And so we're going to see that over the next few months. Now you might be wondering where we cruise. Well, we're back to almost all of the destinations that we visited pre-pandemic. So we're going to Bermuda, the Bahamas, all over the Caribbean and different parts of Mexico. And then we have seasonal voyages that visit Alaska, Canada, New England, Hawaii, Europe. And then pretty soon in October, we're gonna be starting again with our year round service from Australia. So when we sail from Australia, we'll be visiting the different Australian areas, Fiji Islands, New Zealand. So really cool, unique itineraries that most of us probably have never done before. So. Stay tuned for that, and you can book those on GoCCL as well. Now, at Carnival, we have a lot of private island destinations that we share with our sister companies, and then we have some cruise centers that we built up and invested in. So I'll just show you a sample of some of them today, and one of them would be Half Moon Key, so or Half Moon Bay. A lot of these have, pronounce it however you like. Uh, this is an island that we share with Holland America, and it's in the Eleuthera chain of the Bahamas. So great place to relax on the beach. We actually bring all the food off the ship and set up a nice buffet. So that's included. So you can have lunch while you're hanging out on the beach all day. There's cabana rentals. There's a nice big bar at that ship um, that you see in the photo down below. Horseback riding, swimming with stingrays, all kinds of really nice things to do in Half Moon Key. It is a port where we tender ashore through a water shuttle. So we don't actually dock, but there will be um, a facility that we're going to be building where we will be able to have some of our bigger ships docked on the other part of the island. Now we have Amber Cove as well. This is not a private island, but it's one of the cruise centers that we've built in the Dominican Republic. So Amber Cove is really great. This is in the northern part of the country uh, in the Puerto Plata region, if you've heard of that area. And very lush, very tropical. The people here are so friendly. Um, and this center has a pool with a lot of lounge chairs. There's cabanas that can be rented that overlook the pool, overlooking the water, or over the hillside. There's just a lot of great things to do. There's even a zip line and water slide right here in Amber Cove. There's a lot of retail. And then, of course, you can do a short excursion to the town. There's an Amber Museum uh, chocolate factory, as well as a lot of different beaches for just a short drive away. So Amber Cove is really, really great. If you have an opportunity to, to sail on these itineraries, I would definitely recommend it. East Roatan is another one of my favorites. This is off the coast of Honduras. So we built up the cruise center that you see here. We can fit up to two of our largest ships at any time. And it's just a quick walk over to Mahogany Beach, which is acres and acres of white sand, lounge chairs. There's no pool here, but it's so calm that it's like swimming in a pool when you're out on the water. Um, there's also the Magical Flying Beach Chair Ride that you can purchase a pass for like $14 and go back and forth from the beach to the cruise center as much as you want while you're there. Uh, and then there's just some really beautiful places to see uh, if you do some of the shore excursions in Roatan as well. So Honduras, it's about 40 miles off the coast, really great place. And then we announced that we're going to be breaking ground in um, Freeport in Grand Bahama Island. We've been talking about that for years, but we're going to be making that a whole nother destination in itself. Hopefully that will be ready by the end of 2024. So just stay tuned for that. Now, I mentioned a map earlier that I said I would show you where our ports are and how you know easy it is for the rest of the country to get to our ships. We're lucky living here in Florida, like Tyra and I are so close to Tampa, so we can get to the ship in like 30 minutes um, and get to all of our destinations. We can also drive to Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, but these are also major airport cities. So if you and your clients don't live nearby, it's really easy to get here. We're super close to the airport in Tampa. Um, but then if you have clients that have done all these itineraries, we hear a lot like I've been to Mexico so many times. I've been to the Bahamas. I don't want to go there again. Well, guess what? We can go out of California to 
Catalina Island or Ensenada or Alaska. You can even change things up a little bit and maybe book a group that's going to do a wine tasting tour in San Francisco or in that area, Napa Valley, and then get on the ship and do a cruise. So you can do like a pre-post package on your own. But yeah, a lot of different options and we make it easier for you. All right. So on to the next thing. This is the ship we've been waiting for for so long. She's finally here. She came last year and that's our Mardi Gras. So she arrived at Port Canaveral in 2021. This is our first Excel class ship, which is our largest class of ship yet. So you can see her at over 180,000 tons, over 1,130 feet in length. And then when we're full, she'll hold over 6,600 guests. You can also see the side-by-side -side comparison of our very first ship, the Mardi Gras, that sailed in 1972 versus where we are now. Uh, so both of these are game changers for our industry and just so many fun things to do on our new Mardi Gras. So one of the main things I want to point out is that the ship is divided into six themed zones. Now this is new for us, but these are zones that are inspired by the places that vacations take us. So you'll see Grand Central be like your big city, your big hub. Uh, French Quarter is going to be Louisiana, New Orleans. We've got La Piazza, which would be like your different strolls through um, courtyards in Italy. Summer Landing would be like your resort pool. Same with Lido. And then Ultimate Playground would be kind of like your theme park um, where we have all kinds of fun things to do outside there. So I'll take you through little by little. Uh, so Grand Central, this is a really beautiful lobby, actually. This is where you're going to get on the ship. It's huge. You've got three floors, floor to ceiling uh, windows. They have breathtaking views of whatever's around you. And then at nighttime, or even during the day, we can close these panels and we do performances and different shows and activities in there. So really cool space. It's also the gateway to get to other parts of the ship, like the casino, the restaurants, the lounges. Um, so this is Grand Central. There's a coffee shop. And then access to our interior promenade, where you'll see the alchemy bar and some of the other cool places on board. This is now, impressive. Moving... This is beautiful. Yes. yes, Mardi Gras has been so well received. And it's just, it's so amazing. I got to see the ship for one day last year. It's beautiful. Not like any other carnival ship you've seen. Wow. So French Quarter, inspired by Louisiana, there's going to be uh, handcrafted cocktails, live jazz, and you can't really tell, but in that top left picture of the brass magnolia bar, the lamps are actually brass instruments. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of different touches here. We've got a fortune teller bar up to the top right where they make these cool drinks that are mystifying and smoking, and one of them is called Crystal Ball. When it comes out, it has a crystal ball on there that pops and there you go. You see that right there with the mystifying smoke. Um, we've got a partnership with Emerald Lagasse. So we've got Emerald's Bistro on board where we're serving muffaletta, po'boys, uh, gumbo, jambalaya, things like that for a small fee. And then the bottom right picture is your one of your main dining rooms, which is the Palms Restaurant. So really beautiful space uh, with French Quarter. La Piazza, again, designed to be like a stroll through a park or a um, courtyard in Italy. So it'll remind you of being in Venice or maybe Rome. There's a 1972 Fiat where you can take photos. There's a Vespa. Then there's also the Pizzeria del Capitano, Bar de la Rosa, which has an indoor-outdoor space for enjoying some beverages. Um, just a lot of things to do in this area as well on Mardi Gras. Summer landing in the very back of the ship. This is not exclusive, so anybody can come hang out and enjoy this beautiful pool. There's a hot tub, plenty of lounge chairs. And then you're seeing the beautiful aft facing balconies that we've added to the back of the ship, as well as new Excel class corner suites. That Those are the ones that have the red line on there. Uh, so I'll show you what those look like, um, but they're a new class of suite we have available to book. Now moving to the Lido deck, you can see that it's uh, beautifully designed, very tropical with the palm trees. There's a seaside theater where we will have movies under the star, the nice pool, and even a two-story red frog tiki bar. So really cool Polynesian themed place where you have some really great people watching of all the people on Lido. And then uh, that tides aft pool where we have the pool that goes to the very edge of the back of the ship and two hot tubs and just also uh, non-exclusive, anybody can come hang out at this Tides Act pool. Now moving inside Lido, we've got the new Lido Marketplace, just a different design for the buffet, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then we've introduced Street Eats, which kind of is like when you go to different countries like Thailand or maybe places in South America and you can order from one of the street vendors. This is uh, inspired by those experiences. So the food will change daily. And this is included. The only one that's not included is the seafood shack, which will have market price for lobster rolls, um, crab legs, and things like that. 
Then moving along, we've got Shaquille O'Neal's restaurant. We've got Big Chicken on board, also complimentary, open for breakfast and lunch. So you can get some breakfast sandwiches. You can get chicken, all kinds of great things. Uh, we've got Blue Iguana Cantina where you can order tacos, burritos, also open for breakfast and lunch. And you can even make your own salsa at the salsa bar. And then if you don't know who Guy's Burger, uh, who Guy Fieri is, sorry, you need to find out because he's from TV. He's on diners, dive-ins and drives. Uh, but we've got his burger joint created just for us on all of our ships. And it's huge on Mardi Gras. So you can order a plain Jane, you can get a cheeseburger, but the best thing is we have our own toppings bar. So you can add whatever you want. And these are also complimentary. So have as many as you want. Calories don't count at sea. And then moving to the last zone, this is the ultimate playground. So you can see there's a miniature golf course, the big water park with the slides and the splash park. There's a covered basketball court with ropes course in the front of the ship. And you've probably already noticed by now this cool thing going all the way around the sports square or the ultimate playground. And that's Bolt, the first ever roller coaster at sea. So this is powered by you. It goes up to 45 miles per hour. You can fit two people on at a time and it will go around the entire thing. It doesn't really go upside down. So no worries about falling off into the ocean, um, but you'll also be strapped in. And again, it's controlled by you so you can control how fast it goes, but really cool experience. And first time we've ever had a roller coaster on a ship. So a lot of great things to do on Mardi Gras. And that's just some of the samplings of what we have on board. Now her little sister's coming this year. So Carnival Celebration is gonna be another milestone that we're gonna meet. And in honor of our birthday, we thought what better way to celebrate than bring out a new ship and call it Carnival Celebration. So she's gonna be sailing from Miami in November of this year. Um, very similar to Mardi Gras with just a few differences. So she'll also have six themed zones, but three of them are gonna be a little bit different. So number one is gonna be Celebration Central. Two is the Gateway. And then number four is 820 Biscayne. So these are gonna be three spaces that are different from Mardi Gras. And so I'll show you what those look like. Very similar, but Celebration Central has some design elements that are actually part of our older ships that are no longer in service. So when we were remodeling some of our ships or taking apart the furniture and, and uh, artwork, we were able to crush the glass and turn that into mosaics that you'll see on that Aquaria bar wall. We have a Tropical bar, which is a tribute to one of our older ships, the Carnival Tropical, um, and just some cool things that you'll see there. This entire ship is going to be dedicated to our history of Carnival and the evolution of where we started and where we are today. So you're going to see a lot of that through the ship. Um, 820 Biscayne is replacing the La Piazza area. So instead of Italy on the ship, we'll have Miami. So 820 Biscayne was actually the first address of our offices in Miami when we started in 1972. And so you, here you'll see it's very Art Deco, very tropical themed as well. And instead of a Fiat and a Vespa, there's gonna be these flamingos on roller skates and skateboards that are great for photo ops. And then we have Miami Slice for pizza. And then we have Deco Deli, of course we'll have sandwiches. And then this also features an indoor outdoor space to enjoy. And moving along, we have Golden Jubilee. This is the new zone that we announced. So this is a bar, uh, but if you look at the pictures here, it's designed to be very vintage, like to remind us of the early days of cruising. There's porthole windows that you'll notice, some of the old drinks that we're gonna be bringing back and some of the old menu designs. There's also gonna be decorations with our blueprints from our uh, interior designer from the past with some of the original ships and artwork there. Even the etchings on the glass and some of the wood paneling are from our older ships that we were able to salvage and bring onto this carnival celebration. Pretty cool. Uh, also that bottom left picture, if you notice those gold circles, those are replicas of the coins that we get when we do the coin ceremony, when we introduce a new ship. So those are going to be built into the pattern of the floor. There's actually 3D dioramas on the wall that you can see the people looking into. And so as you walk down the hallway, you're going to go through a timeline of where we started to where we are today. So that's our evolution of Carnival. And then of course the ship model, just really cool touches on the ship to bring our beginnings to where we are today. Now, the Gateway is one of the most recently announced zones that's on the ship, and it's all going to be travel themed. So this is replacing the French Quarter on this ship, but I want to show you a quick video of what's going to be included in the Gateway.
cool is that? Celebration coming to Miami this November. So bookings, it's already open for booking. So just check it out on GoCCL and you can reserve your staterooms today. So speaking of staterooms, um, I'm gonna show you the stateroom design. We went with a new designer for this class of ship as well. So they look at a lot of different things like um, different touches for the bathroom. There's like a little shaving bar for anybody that needs to you know, do that in the bathroom. There's a um, glass door instead of a shower curtain, which makes it a lot easier to, to get clean when you're on the ship. Um, so a couple little touches that you'll see that are different, um, but also the design. So it's a lot lighter, a lot brighter. Um, so here's your interior staterooms, a lot of different categories as well. So you have to kind of familiarize yourself with where these all are located. And typically we've been known to have some of the largest staterooms at sea on average, but there are some that are a little bit smaller on the ship. And that gives us an opportunity to upsell. So like these premium interiors, you'll see that with junior balconies and the standard balconies when we get to those as well. There's only two categories of ocean view. The main difference between the interior and the ocean view is that you have a window. Uh, so here you can see that this specific stateroom does have a sofa bed. It's a little bit larger. Um, so you can see that and you can always look at the deck plan and I'll show you where to find this information on GoCCL as well. When you look at our balconies, we have so many different types of balconies. There's cove balconies, junior balconies, standard balconies, extended balconies, forward facing, aft facing. So pretty much the choice is up to your clients and where they wanna be. Um, and that's where you come in to help them decide what would be their best preference for, for what their needs are. So qualify them. One of the things I want to point out is if you look at this balcony door, you probably can't tell from here, but it's a slider where on our older ships, the doors swing out, which is not very easy to do when it's windy in the middle of this ocean, yes, uh, but heavy. here it's a slider. <laughs> yeah. So that's challenging. It's also sometimes dangerous, especially if small children, their hands yes. could get you know, closed in the door. So this is a lot easier. And then moving on to suites, we do have suites as well. So we have our standard ocean suites, but then we also introduced a whole new class of suites, which are Excel suites. There's four different categories with 32 of these suites available. Um, the largest one is the Carnival Excel Presidential Suite, and there's only two of these on the ship. So they do sell pretty quickly depending on the itinerary, um, well, mainly because there's only two of them. But as you can see from the pictures here, completely new design. And it's the first time that we've actually had suites where there's a separate living space from the sleeping space. Um, so really great. And both areas have access to the balconies. So here's kind of, there's a video, but I'll skip through this for time's sake today. But here's one of the aft facing corner suites that we looked at earlier that was over the summer landing pool. Um, so plenty of space to enjoy outdoors. You can see the two different sliding doors to go to the bedroom or the living room. There's also an outdoor hot tub as well. So pretty cool. I'm going to skip through the video. You can see it on YouTube, but here's the, the staterooms that we just talked about. And then here is the presidential suite. So huge. Look at that balcony. It has a hot tub and outdoor shower. And then you can see from the, the, the aerial view where that hot tub and shower is outside and just like all the space that you'll be able to enjoy or your clients will be able to enjoy. These um, so are the bathroom. crazy. This is a total upgrade. This, this is amazing. Yeah. Look at the bathroom. It has two sinks and there's even a little uh, area with the toilet that's a separate sink. So you can get to the bathroom from the bedroom or the living room, which is pretty nice. I love it. So, yeah, really cool. You can have all the, the whole ship over. <laughs> and, yes. And, and then the others, the other state rooms, they, those are total upgrades. I, there's a total difference between those and, you know, the normal. And those rooms are beautiful. I love this. Yeah. Yes, the ships look really nice. Uh, so let's see what else. So Loft 19, this is an area that is, um, but let's see, it's going to be on Deck 19, hence that name. And this is an area where if you want to access Loft 19, you do have to purchase uh, a cabana. So you'd have to rent this cabana that you're seeing here. It does come with a uh, cooler with some fruits and some beverages. There's also like a butler service, uh, cooling towels. So you get to reserve this for the day. Uh, and people that are booked into those Excel suites have priority access to these. But the only way that you can access this if you're not in an Excel suite is by purchasing the cabana rental. But if you're in one of those 32 suites that I showed you that was an Excel class suite, you can come up here and use this pool and the other lounge chairs that are not in the cabanas at any time. So that's one of the perks of being in one of the Excel suites is you have this exclusive area as well. Uh, we have a couple other types of staterooms on board these ships, which are Havana. So in the Havana experience, you have an exclusive outdoor area as well with a pool that only guests in Havana staterooms can enjoy. A um, very tropical themed. It's inspired by Havana, Cuba. So these are available in the interior, the cabana, the extended cabana, the suite, and the corner suite. 
So if you go out onto your actual lanai, you have access to an exterior lanai where you can go out of that and walk around kind of the, the front of the ship there. Um, then there's a Havana bar. Anybody can access this area, but if you're in one of those Havana staterooms, you're very close to this. So great for mojitos, Cuban coffee, and it also serves as one of our um, clubs sometimes where there's live music, salsa, merengue. It's just a great experience. Um, and here's another picture of that Havana bar. And then this is that exclusive Havana pool. It's a little bit smaller on this class of ship, but it's still nice nonetheless. And then you have an outdoor bar as well as plenty of outdoor lounge spaces that only other Havana guests will be able to enjoy. We also have these Cloud9 spa staterooms. So one of the main perks of a Cloud9 spa stateroom is different amenities in your stateroom, like the toiletries, as well as priority access to spa appointments and spa reservations. So these are available from interior all the way up to suite as well. And that will have uh, give you priority access, like I mentioned, to the spa appointments or to the thermal suites and tepidarium and steam rooms. Uh, if you're not in one of these spa staterooms, you would have to purchase a pass to access this area of the spa. Oops, I went backwards. Uh, so here's just kind of like a mineral pool. And then off to the side, you'll be able to enter the uh, sauna and steam room. Then, of course, the treatment room. So if you're looking for a pampering vacation for you or your clients, uh, we've got that on board these ships as well. Now, for people found uh, traveling with children, we've got Family Harbor. These are only available in interior Ocean View and Ocean View suites on this ship. But you'll see the American nautical theme. Um, and just great for families with children because they have access to this family harbor lounge. So you can only access this lounge with your room key if you're booked into one of these types of staterooms. And here we'll do movie nights, game nights, parents can hang out with the children, there'll be continental breakfast, maybe pizza party one night, things like that. So it always kind of changes, but it's just another great place for families to hang out with their, to their loved ones. Now, I don't expect you to be able to decipher this, but you can see that there's a lot of different color on this deck plan and each of those colors signifies the different categories. So this is how we determine the price and the location of where your guests wanna be. So you kind of look at this, determine, okay, that's a 6A, this orange color, that's an ocean view. And then you would look up pricing based on that. So a lot of different categories on here and the layout's very different, like I mentioned from any of our other ships. So you're gonna to wanna to familiarize yourself with these public spaces. Like here, the spa is on the lower, level of the ship where we're used to it being all the way up at the top. And Havana is on deck eight here. So this is that area where here's the Havana pool and you can walk all the way around the front of the ship to this side and then back. And only guests that are in those staterooms have access to that outdoor area. So pretty cool, just something to look at and get yourself used to. And she is gonna be sailing from terminal F in Miami and that F stands for fun, of course. And so we're ready. We're working on some finishing touches for the terminal down there, but she'll be ready by November. And Carnival Celebration is going to have a lot of retail opportunities. So I don't expect you to read all of this either, but there's going to be nine different retail outlets on the ship spread throughout the different venues. So we'll have 50th birthday memorabilia. There's some 305 Art Deco celebration um, materials. We'll have a lot of Brito. We have a great partnership with him. There's going to be a Ruby and Sapphire store all Red and blue are signature colors. There's going to be our signature hull design um, and all kinds of great things uh, for collectors on board. Now, Mardi Gras and Carnival Celebration also have a little sister on the way, and that's Carnival Jubilee. And she's coming in 2023, and that is going to be sailing from Galveston. So we're still working on announcing the details. we got to work on Celebration first. But Carnival Jubilee is coming soon, and I'm sure she'll have a slightly difference, a few differences than uh, the other two ships in that class. Now, there's a lot of information, but we just announced Costa by Carnival as well. So it's a new concept. Costa is one of our sister brands, and we're taking delivery of some of the ships that were built for Costa and bringing them over into our fleet. So they're going to keep the name. They're going to keep some of the interior design elements, but it's going to be operated by Carnival, Carnival Crew. So they are our ships and joining our fleet, but they were originally built for Costa. So we're not going to change that smokestack. Um, we'll change the colors, but it's still going to be just like this. And these are Vista class ships. So the ships that I'm going to show you now are some of our larger ships like Vista, Horizon, and Panorama. So Costa by Carnival, starting with uh, Costa Venezia, which will be debuting from New York in spring of next year. So this is the interior of the ship, what the atrium looks like. And then I just, I don't have a lot of details. We don't have itineraries announced yet either and what some of the changes will be, but I just have a few pictures to show you, but very beautifully appointed, very Italian themed inside. 
pasta is our Italian brand. Um, so this is one of the dining rooms with an actual gondola inside. So pretty cool. And just really beautiful dining spaces. One of the bar lounges areas with another gondola. Just a lot of bars and restaurants on the ship. Another space looks like for enjoying some lounging around, drinking, reading a book. And then the sister to Costa Venezia is going to be Costa Ferenzi, which will be sailing from Long Beach starting in 2024. So this is what she'll look like. Just a few pictures that I have. So one of the lounges. And of course, this is a very small casino. Don't have a lot of pictures of Ferenzi. And then I didn't mention, but we have Costa Luminosa, which is coming to Australia. So that is the third Costa ship that is, is coming. So I told you we have 23 ships. And then when we bring the Carnival Celebration, the Jubilee, and then these three Costa ships, that's the, 20, the, the five additional ships that are on the way. Now, for those of you that are selling Tampa, I just have to tell everybody because this is my home port. Um, we have the four and five day Western Caribbean itineraries that sail year round from here, going to Cozumel, Grand Cayman in Cozumel, or Mahogany Bay in Cozumel. But next year and in 2024, we have some really exciting itineraries that are very unusual for Tampa. So it's always important when these come out that we have to sell them to show Carnival that we can sell them and that people want them so that we can continue to get new itineraries like this. So the first one is the five day Bahamas going to Nassau and Bimini. That's almost unheard of for Carnival from Tampa. We've got a lot of destination um, voyages in 2023 and then a few in 2024. Then we have these special six day Western Caribbean going to Jamaica. So Key West, Montego Bay and Grand Cayman, there's only four of them next year. Uh, so May 15th, July 10th, 9th, uh, September 4th and October 30th. And then we have a six day Western Caribbean, which is typically what we do on the seven day, but we have a six day on Carnival Paradise on three different sailings next year. So if you have anybody interested in going to the Bahamas or Jamaica from Tampa, I would definitely recommend these itineraries so we can get those filled. Now, moving into our travel advisor tools, and then this will wrap up today's presentation. And um, this is all resources we have for you to make selling Carnival easy to make your job a success. We want to make sure you're the most successful you can be. So we'll talk about what those awesome advisor resources are. Hopefully, you're all registered on GoCCL.com. If not, that's the first thing you should do is go visit GoCCL.com and register now. That will send a registration request to Tyra, who will preview for access, and then you'll be able to do so many things on this site, such as creating and managing your own bookings, learning all about our sailings and our ships, accessing marketing tools and flyers that you can share with your clients. You'll be able to visit uh, the section that shows you all of our sales and promotions, as well as our learn and own program, which we're going to be revamping, but great way for you to learn as much as you can about Carnival and in a fun way. We have an e-collateral library, so this is where you'll be able to download flyers and brochures that look like these that you see here. There's web banners, virtual backgrounds for you to use when you're doing Zoom meetings or uh, presentations. We have a brand center, so if you haven't accessed this before, you're going to need to request access. You'll get approval with your login and password. And then you'll be able to download logos, color, our colors that we use, the specific red, specific blue. There's tons of photos in there, so if you're looking for carnivalized advertising, it's all in our brand center for you. Um, so moving along, we've got our rewards and learning. So we have uh, loyalty rocks where you can earn rewards points for doing different transactions, like making a booking online, maybe it's booking a specific ship and sale date. So when you earn those points, you can redeem them for prizes like gift cards or merchandise. So really exciting. Another great way for you to earn a little bit more when selling Carnival. Um, we also have our learn and earn uh, where you go through the different courses to learn about maybe booking groups or how to make a booking. And once you complete all those different courses, you'll earn points that you can also, um, it'll also go into your, your loyalty rocks uh, account, but the training's video based. So it's very easy to slide through and kind of, you know, see what you're learning. Um, we make it pretty easy for you sales and promotion. So this is really fun. I like this a lot. So we're always running some kind of sale and our most common and available to the general public sales are going to be listed here. So you'll see the travel advisor sales, of course, but if we're running a 72 hour sale or like a free room upgrade sale, like you see here, you're going to be able to look at the dates that it's available. So the booking window, you can see the details, the terms and conditions, the rate code. We have some lead pricing if you wanted to use this to advertise. And then when you click where it says more details, you'll be able to download different sized graphics like this to use for Instagram, Facebook, or maybe an email blast or wherever else you might be posting these. Um, so a great way to kind of push these sales out to your clients to call you uh, to book their cruise for them. 
We also have a travel agent rocks toolkit because we think you rock and we know you rock. So you can download some of these items or you can create a post um, to show how Carnival supports our travel advisors um, by accessing this area, seeing what that's all about. We've got a lot of different YouTube channels. So we have our Carnival YouTube channel. We also have a trade channel just for our travel advisors. And then I'm gonna talk about a Carnival Independent Advisor Team YouTube channel as well, where we have a lot of video trainings in this YouTube space as well. If you're not receiving emails, hopefully you're receiving emails from me as I meet you or see your name coming across, I add you to my distribution list. But if you're not receiving my emails, let Tyra know and we'll get you added. But we also want to make sure that you're joining Carnival's mailing list and getting emails directly from our trade sales team. Um, so all you have to do is go to the bottom and go CCL, click join our mailing list, enter this information, and there you go. You're on our list. You'll get emails from us about special events, special travel agent rates, any kind of contests we're doing and things like that. We'll, we'll be coming through this sales communications team. Now, if you haven't gone through Go CCL yet, I'm just going to kind of do a quick walkthrough since I'm not going to do a live demonstration, but there's a lot of different sections once you're logged in. So you can see this toolbar at the top with booking, ship and sellings, all of that. You can also scroll down on the page and access some of the same information. But one of the things I recommend is just click around, play around and get yourself familiar with this. Um, there's a lot of different things. If you forget where you started or where you just go back to Go CCL and start over, it's not that difficult. And if you break something, which hopefully that's not going to happen, let us know because we need to know that that needs to be fixed. Okay. So uh, just have fun, click the different sections and you'll see there's a lot to do on GoCCL. So there's bookings, creating and managing your booking. Um, if there's an upgrade for your client the, with the upgrade, uh, be the hero offers, you'll see those there. Here's where you can access the rates and promotions that I talked about with the different um, graphics. Now those are only going to be the general sales that are available to the public. If it's any exclusive offers like uh, VIFP rates or casino offers, there's so many of those at a given time that we won't possibly be able to list them all for you. Um, but you'll also have to remember to always look up your VIFP numbers for your clients so that you can see any particular offers that are available for them. Ship and sailings, if you want to learn about all of our ships, we make it really easy. You just click on the ship. It takes you there. You can see the different layouts, the deck plans. You can see the, the samples of what the staterooms look like even access more facts that you ever wanted to know about these ships. Um, marketing tools, this is a great section for you to become familiar with. That's where we have our marketing collateral library. You can download the sample flyers in here that you can customize. We've got the webinar backgrounds. Then if you go to the external marketing links, logos, videos, and images is where you'll access our brand center, the YouTube. Um, you can order brochures, all of these different things that you can access to help you market Carnival. Uh, there's a booked client section, so just a couple of things that you can do under there as well. So just click through. There's the training on board with you. Talks about some of our programs, our virtual cruise party information I'm going to talk about is listed in here. And then, of course, any agent rewards, you can click through here to find that. Now, as you scroll down on the page, you're going to notice under popular links, there's one hidden link that says visit Knowledge Center. I don't know why it's only stored here, but that's why I'm pointing it out to remember that it's here. Uh, but that'll take you to our Knowledge Center where you can click through these different modules as well. Or you could even search at the top uh, for different topics. So, for example, if you wanted to look up booking procedures, you can click here. Then I'll take you to another page with a whole bunch of links on booking procedures. You'll also notice that there's a framed view. So on the left, these are some other sections that you can click, like fleet. If you click on the deck plans, it'll just take you to all the different deck plans for our ships. You can also click on each individual ship. And for example, if you click on Carnival Breeze, it'll take you to a link where you can see all the different decks of that ship. And you can go deck by deck, cabin by cabin, and read the description, how many square feet, how many uh, you know dimensions of the windows or the door, all of that stuff will be in that section. So there's a lot. It's like an encyclopedia of everything Carnival in the Knowledge Center. Now, if you want to know how to contact us, the easiest way is to click support at the top of GoCCL here. And that'll take you to this page where you can see our most popularly contacted departments with their hours and phone numbers. Or if you click here where it says click here to download PDF, you'll get this uh, contact sheet that has some of those same departments with their emails. So if it's not urgent, you can send an email and wait for them to respond to you. And then just as you scroll down to the very bottom of the page, there's a few more links there as well that we want to make sure you're familiar with, like learning about Carnival, our privacy notices, this travel agent policy talks about what you can market, how you can market, what you can and cannot do with pricing. Uh, so that might be important to look at um, if you've not seen that before. And just a lot of great information. 
Now we have some virtual opportunities for you as well. So since we're not doing ship tours yet, we've been doing this virtually, which has been a lot of fun. So some of my colleagues and I have pre-recorded uh, these trainings on Zoom where we actually pretend like we're on the ship and we change the backgrounds behind us and we talk about the different spaces. So if you haven't checked that out, that's on Go see sale for you to look at. Then we have virtual cruise parties as well. So as your BDM, I'm more than happy to host one of these with you. But in the event that I'm not available or you want to do this on your own, we have a whole kit that makes it easy for you talking about how to set these up, how to do it on Zoom, downloading the in, um, backgrounds, making a presentation. So all kinds of fun things for you to do to have a virtual cruise party. But again, I'm more than happy to help you with this. If I'm available, um, we can set that up, and sell Carnival together. Now, another quick update, uh, Loyalty Rocks, that's our Carnival merchandise store. We've added some new items where you can redeem your points for things like the Travel Agent Rocks watch, some Travel Agent Rocks t-shirts, and some other fun merchandise that has recently been added. Now, I talked about how to get a hold of us, so you know about the contact sheet. I just reiterate that, have it in here anyway. But also follow us on Facebook. Um, Adolfo Perez is our VP of global sales and trade marketing and trade sales. So we want to make sure you're following him. You can access it by facebook.com slash carnival trade. Really great engaging information with our trade community like you. We also have a carnival independent advisor team, uh, Facebook page and a private Facebook group just for travel agents. So visit CIA team CCL, or you can search the carnival independent advisor team group, and then we'll I'll approve you to join. Uh, there's also that YouTube channel. So you can click there and um, access a lot of different trainings that we store on the Carnival Independent Advisor Team's YouTube channel. Now, if you're not sure what Carnival Independent Advisor Team does for you, here's some of the things that they do in addition to how I can support you. And that's with newsletters, webinars, trainings. A lot of times they're going to be out in different parts of the country that I can't get to since I only cover West Florida. So if you're somewhere else, you might be able to sign up for one of the in-person trainings that they're hosting out there. There's some templates and tools, brainstorming ideas. And then these are all the different ways that you can reach the Carnival Independent Advisor Team. But of course, you can also reach me at sgrunes at carnival.com. I know it's not up on the screen, but I'm telling you. And of course, always check with Tyra because she can get you in touch with me as well if you need anything from Carnival. But that is what I had for you today. So I didn't want to take up too much time, but just remember we're in this together. So whatever you do in life and in travel, just remember to always choose fun. Thank you so much. Thank that you. This was an amazing, amazing, amazing webinar. I cannot wait to see these ships in person. <laughs> I can't wait. They're amazing. The updates and the the, the, the different, uh, the level, you can, there's a total difference between the ships now and how Carnival is slowly upgrading these ships. They're so beautiful. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for today's webinar. If any of the agents have uh, any additional questions, um, I'll have them, you know, send you an email or I can send them an email. Or um, do you have a Facebook or anything that they can join? Yeah, my Facebook is um, CCL Tampa Bay. Okay, so it's perfect. just the CCL Carnival Cruise Line Tampa Bay. So I have that and on Instagram. So I try to post a little bit here and there, but okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. We yeah. value your time and listen, the agents are going to love this. I know everybody oh. wasn't able to join the webinar because it is in the middle of the day. But as I said, okay. if you get any questions, we're going to send them to you. Okay. Perfect. I appreciate you, Tyra. And thank you for everybody that's watching and appreciate all your business. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, you too. Bye.